Oh. The game's frozen. The game is just frozen. <laughs> Here you go. Catch. What is he doing? He just laid on top of him like my man was a mattress. Stop saying steady every time you go on. It doesn't help. Look, see. Oh, Jesus. What am I doing? Well, well, well. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Unearthed Trial of Ibn Batuna. Batuta? Trial of Ibn Summit, or rather. AKA the game with the lowest score on Metacritic. The worst reviewed game on Metacritic. I searched Metacritic far and wide, and I couldn't find anything lower than this game, which is an 11. This game has an 11. That's 11 out of 100, not 11 out of 10. Not 11 out of 20, 11 out of 100. The game has a worse score than Raven's Cry and Mummy on the PS2, which we have suffered through both of those. And it has an even lower score than both of those. I just want to remind you guys as well that I paid for this game. I paid real money for this game. It might have only been £4, but that's still £4 of my own money that paid for this game. So what I will ask from you guys after I spent my money on it, because I earn no money back from YouTube, is that you leave a like on the video. And if you do genuinely enjoy it, if you could watch it to the very end of the video, that would mean a lot to me. I would really appreciate that. But without further ado, I'm just stalling at this point. Let's get it over with. The most amazing secret. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Jeff. Jeff Rosick. Yeah, I know him, obviously. What is this intro? Why am I getting an intro to all the characters? This isn't a movie, this is a game. A journey through generations. Oh, God. A journey through generations of terribly scored Metacritic games to make it right to the bottom of them. All right, I was behind a wall. I've spawned in the middle of nowhere. Here we go. How's the aiming? Oh, the shooting isn't too bad, you know. What happens if I just stand here behind the cover? Does anything actually happen? <laughs> I don't think it does. You're going to shoot your own guy. Mate, you're shooting your own geezer in the back of the head. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to switch cover. Oh, rapid. Where did my grenade go? Oh no! <laughs> I tried to throw a grenade, but he threw it with his left hand against the wall. Alright, there's literally an invisible wall here. It won't let me go past unless I take cover behind the wall. You have to take cover behind this wall. Hello. You made it quite far, didn't you, mate? You probably should have moved when you heard the beep, 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 beep. Bullseye. Oh god, no. Please don't tell me he's got cheesy voice lines. <laughs> This is the worst. You know, it'd be alright if the combat system actually worked, but I'm trying to hit him, and he's just, like, backing off every time he blocks. Oh, don't get up again. Just stay down, please. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. Please stay down. And the body's completely disappeared. <laughs> what would you do if you were me? Stop playing the game. Quit at life. Wow, what an intro. <laughs> Woo! 10 out of 10 storytelling. Absolutely unbelievable. It's got me so intrigued in this game. I can't wait to play more. Do you want to actually make con eye contact with her, mate? Rather than just looking beside her. <laughs> oh. The game's frozen. The game is just frozen. <laughs> I can still hear everything fine, but the game's just frozen. Yeah, now the cutscene's finished and it's just full on, just completely frozen. All right. <laughs> Oh, thank Christ it saved. What secrets does this place hide? Many pigeons, apparently. Sweet. What? What's... What's that supposed to mean? Like, you zoom in on it, like, I know what that means, I understand it. It just zooms in on it, it doesn't give me any kind of information as to what it is. You need near a ladder to climb down. There is no ladder, is there? Oh, is this is this supposed to be a ladder? Oh, okay, brilliant. How do you climb down? I'm pressing left right now to climb down. What was the point in that? It just brings me back here where I was. All right, so we, so we got down this way. For some reason, we can't get back up that exact same way. Why can't you just grab the ladder right now? Just, just grab the ladder. Grab, grab the ladder. Grab the ladder. Wow. That was difficult. All oh, right, yeah, so it's so dark that you can't, literally can't move anymore. It can't run anymore forward because it's too dark. Now all of a sudden it works. Oh! <laughs> Have we just got to, like, run and jump this? No. No, I don't think we do. Oh, good God, is there any need for this flicker? I feel like we could have a seizure. I mean, yeah, I would say he is afraid of the dark because he didn't go any further without a torch. He literally physically stopped himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so easy? Barely even touched it. <laughs> like full on the thick planks of wood. You know, clearly sealing off this doorway for a reason as well. That's why they use thick planks of wood. He's just come over and he sneezed on it and it was fine. Oh no. Quick, if I just sprint through it, I should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, boulders. Wow, that was really challenging. Then in this case, you can use the RC car I bought a while ago. The remote control- Wait, what random RC car out of nowhere? Uh, where is it again? I put it in your backpack. 
I knew it. <laughs> like he wouldn't know it's in his backpack. Where's this RC car? You know, my backpack's really heavy for some reason. I know. Where did you put this? Where did you put this RC car? I have no idea where it is. Oh, it's just. Oh, 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 it's in my underwear. Oh, okay. Okay, but the RC car is just all of a sudden on the floor. It just appears there. I didn't even have to take it out of my bag. Okay. I don't think she charged us up very much because it's not going too fast, is it? Let me guess. Something's going to happen when he takes it. You ready? Nice. Is this game not even. This game couldn't be bothered to make anything happen. Everyone knows when you remove something from somewhere in some kind of ancient place, something happens that's a trap. It's always a trap. It's never not a trap. Try to find a way to get to it. Cheers, love. Yep. Yeah, thanks for that advice. Easy. Use your monkey skills. Where were these monkey skills earlier, eh? When I needed to climb that ladder to get back, back up to where I was. What? What's, what's happening? Why is he. Why is he di- Why did he just die? What the fuck? What just happened? Music Forest, intensifies. I, I just saw a group of armed men enter the tomb. Of course you did. How do the cutscenes look worse than the actual gameplay? Oh no, don't tell me it's frozen again. Is it just frozen again? Oh, I think it's frozen again. Oh my god. Why have you frozen for the second time in like half an hour? I can just hear grunts. I can't even- I don't know what's going on. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Third time lucky. Let's try it. Someone's coming. How did he know? What? He just got some like sick spidey sense that someone's coming. There was no noise or no indicator at all that anyone was coming. Oh yeah, go on, get him. Get him. Why is he fist fighting him? He's got he's got a pistol, like literally in his holster. Why are we fist fighting? I swear she said there was a group of men coming as well. This is this is just a singular man. Look, you can see the pistol. Just whip it out and clock him in the head, boy. Ah <sighs> Jesus. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't think it was supposed to fall right then. Come on, come on, get a little bit closer. You can do this. I believe in you. Come on, come closer to me. Come closer to me. You're nearly there, mate. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. You'll get here eventually. Oh, my God, I've got to play it. That's just all I think when I die. It's not, oh, shit, I died. I really wanted to carry on. It's, oh, shit, I died. I've got to play that again and suffer through what I just did again. Oh, not this again. Why is not he move? Get off the wall. Oh, right, yeah, you have to press the interact button, don't you? He doesn't just get off the wall. Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Why did I die? Why did I die? I just went around the corner. Stop saying steady every time you go on. It doesn't help. Look, see? All right, I've got to wait for the camera to turn around so I can actually go. There we go. Oh, my good God. Grief. Oh, I'm getting real sick of you staying steady, boy. Stay on there. I'm pressing left, and he just doesn't want to stay on. You know, sorry, that last death was actually my fault. I didn't wait for the camera to turn around, because look, we got to get to this point, and then the camera fixes itself, so we can actually walk normally. Where is he? He's in this wall somewhere. I can find him in the wall. He's there. He's in the wall. Who, who's going to... Who are you shooting at? Who have you seen? They've both seen someone somewhere. Oh, shit, grenade. Probably if you just heard gunshots up there, you would, you would turn around. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Must be real close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch your back, guys. I reckon he's close. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, no. Why did I take the piss? I got too cocky, and now I'm dead. Oh, I just locks you in stealth for these segments as well. Like, I can't even jump. I can't sprint. You know when there's just an invisible wall right here, and you just can't fit any shots through? Oh, oh, it's lined up red. Does that mean he must be able to hit him? Nope. No, I can't hit a single one. Did she hide inside the car, maybe? Oh! oh. If she's in the car, she's most definitely dead. You have an <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> Some random bald guy on top of a mountain with an RPG, you know. Oh, and I'm not dead. An RPG That's hit the car, blew up the car, and I was right next to it, but I'm fine. Here you go. Catch. <sighs> what is he doing? He just laid on top of him like my man was a mattress. I thought they were going to start making love. Is this a boss fight or something? Good job on this boss fight, guys. Really good job. You know, I'm just standing there spamming. Mouse one. <laughs> Wow. There you go. <laughs> wow. Why would they not just kill him? You know, he had no no problem at all with killing everyone in that tomb place. All of a sudden, he's got an issue with killing this big old tubby guy who just fired an RPG at his car. Oh, good God, no. Oh, good God, no. <laughs> <laughs> this literally, it feels like a game that you play at the arcade. This, this doesn't feel like a real game that was released in 2014 that I'm playing on my computer right at this moment. I feel like I'm at the arcade. I've just finished bowling or something. I've gone to the arcade. I mean, you have no idea where she got this blue quad bike from. I mean, like, where did this come from? She just disappeared, reappeared with a blue quad bike, and she just knows how to drive it perfectly fine across the desert. They got a chop- Why have they got a chopper? Jesus Christ! The helicopter didn't hit a single single shot on us either. We're absolutely fine. Tower. 
shoot the tower. What? Why has it just corrected me? Why am I in slow motion all of a sudden? What is going on? The helicopter was the helicopter was behind me. It was nowhere near that tower a minute ago, and it just appeared there. And here he is. He's got back up again because for some reason we didn't kill him. Stop looking at the camera, please. He keeps on glancing. Stop glancing at the camera, please. It's just I feel so awkward. I don't want to look into your eyes. Hello, this is Faris Chawad speaking. <laughs> they probably can't hear you, mate. You've got the phone light up to your eye, and now all of a sudden we're in Morocco because this guy bailed us up, got our phone number out of nowhere. He's called us up. He's like, we've got a proposition for you, and then we were just like, yeah, sure. Bang, we'll be over. Oh, size of them bananas. Jesus. It gets even better usually later this month. Come wow. With the scenery. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You know, it's just awkward small talk in a game. That's exactly what I want to hear. The book eventually got translated into many languages and it's available in bookstores today. Was that a sneaky promotion for a book? Like a real life book? They were talking about a book and you was just like, got translated to many languages and it's available in bookstores today. Stop leaving me behind. I can't sprint. The longer I look at this guy, the more I wonder what he is actually doing. He's got a hammer and he's hitting the door. The centre of the door, really. Not really... I don't understand what's supposed to be going on here. Yep. Go on, mate. One day you'll get there. Just one cappuccino for me, please. Right. He comes here and he says... He says, yeah, can't wait to try that Moroccan tea. We're glad we're here. I know I can't resist Moroccan tea. And then... He just orders a cappuccino. We haven't even had our Moroccan tea or our coffee. Hang on a minute. You promised us coffee. What? What? I didn't even get my drink. Hold it. Oh, wait. There is still in there. Can you go get my cappuccino, please, bud? Oh, oh, he's not real. Oh. Diaries are safely hidden in my. Si Why is the door open? I'm sure I locked it before I. How do you How do you know the door's open? We're not even there yet, mate. It was round the corner. Quick, you catch him! Hold it right there. Yeah, get him! Jump! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. That makes sense. Quick! Oh my god, he was running with so much momentum then that he crashed into the wall. Here we are, back to spamming mouse one again. I'm literally not even moving anything else. I'm just spamming mouse one over and over and over again. And now all of a sudden he's the strongest man in the world. He can just hold this guy up by his neck. Oh, and the cutscene's frozen again. Well, that's the last time that I'm gonna let a cutscene freeze me. My game is frozen three times. The worst thing I've ever played. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I had 11 out of 100 on Metacritic. It's the lowest rated Metacritic game that I could find. This was a horrible experience. And remember, I paid money for this game. So I'd really appreciate it if you're new around here to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, share the video around if you did enjoy it. And if you're here at the end, I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching to the end. It does mean a lot because it helps my YouTube out more than you would think. Watching a video to the end is literally the most important thing for a YouTube channel like mine that's trying to grow. And I really, really do appreciate it if you did make it here. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. Like I said, guys, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. It means a lot to me. If you could subscribe and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, then I would be a very, very happy man. Thank you all for watching the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.